I am wearing quite a lot of makeup today. We started to bleed. What is that I'm doing with my face? I don't know. Sometimes I just get confused by my own brain. So last weekend was my birthday. I thought that I'd show you what I got for my birthday because people do that. Without further ado, let's get started. So from Baby Man, yes, I refer to my husband as Baby Man. You might be picturing a mutant man baby thing in your head and that's fine because that's pretty much what he looks like. <laughs> he doesn't. So from my husband, I got this lovely set of Yankee candles. I don't know if you can see properly. There are six candles in there. They're miniatures, miniature, minu miniatures, miniatures. They're miniatures. They're small. I really am very excited about these. So there's a mini snow in love candle. It smells quite flowery. I can't really tell what it smells like, but it's like a little hint of vanilla, but it's quite flowery and quite romantic. There are a couple of hearts on the candle, so that's what I'm guessing. So this is Oud Oasis, and it's got some tropical looking plants on it. Oh wow, that smells really good. To me that smells of honey and a little bit of vanilla and some kind of exotic plant. That smells really good. So this is white gardenia, which as its name suggests, probably smells of white gardenia. But it smells very good, it smells of flower basically. Pink hibiscus. Ooh, that smells lovely as well. This is flowery as well, but it's a little bit more fruity than the white gardenia. Black coconut. As its name suggests, it smells of coconut. Oh, that smells really delicious. I'm very tempted to light this tonight. This is Dreamy Summer Nights. This is quite subtle, but it's quite musky and quite vanilla -y, I wanna say. It's very subtle and quite mysterious smelling. So yeah, I'm very excited about these candles. Well done, baby man. <laughs> so the next present I got from baby man is a set of really, really cute socks. They're so Oh my god, so they're little owl socks and they are absolutely adorable because look at them peeking out like that from their little box. So I just think this is really thoughtful and really cute. I really like the other socks as well and then we've got this one which is a yellow and brown owl sock. Pink and orange one, a spotty navy red one. So there are six of those. Yeah, they're really nice. So the next present I got from Baby Man is a phone hamper and it comes in this magenta fuchsia bag. It's full of food. Food is my favorite thing in life. So I think they're typically British snacks. So we've got a raspberry flapjack. We've got a mini cake topped with cherries and almonds. And this is from the original cake company. And I love the original cake company. They make such good cakes. Really, really delicious. Raspberry and popping candy cocoa dusted truffles from Monty Bojangles. I love the box as well. It's so pretty. I am extremely excited to try this. Shortbread, which I absolutely love. English breakfast tea. And then finally, we've got some raspberry jam. He knows I love food, he knows I love candles, cute things, and cozy things. I am really impressed with my husband right now. Next, I'm gonna go through the presents that I got from my friends. So my friend knows that I love cooking, I love baking, finding recipes that are nutritious and good for you. She got me this book, Power Snacks. 50 super healthy snacks packed with nutrients by Love Food. The recipes look amazing. I've already got a couple that I really, really want to try. Chocolate brownie quinoa cookies, look at that. And then the other recipe, which I think would be perfect for a brunch, pumpkin pecan pancakes. Oh my God, that sounds so good. I might actually make a video where I try out some of those recipes. The next present is this gorgeous, gorgeous navy and grey shawl. It's so cosy. So this is the inside of it and then 
This is the outside of it, which is navy with triangular grey shapes and some burgundy. And then the inside is grey with basically the opposite of the other side. And it's just so chic and simple. It's perfect for winter. Also, at the moment, I'm really into grey. I've got so much grey in my wardrobe. Isabel, I think you've got a problem. No, no, quiet you! The next set of presents is from another friend, Lyrical Ballads by Wordsworth and Coleridge. Two of the poets that we studied at university were Wordsworth and Coleridge. So I am very excited about getting back into that literature. So the next present I got is this box of biscuit cutters. These are pineapple star-shaped, leaf-shaped and strawberry-shaped cookie cutters. So that's what they look like. They're so cute. They've got a sort of plunger thing at the back. So what you do is you sort of press down on your cookie dough using this plunger and it stamps it, stamps the cookie, so that you end up with properly shaped biscuits, like these ones. I don't know if you can see. Absolutely brilliant for shortbread, sugar cookies. So the next present I got, oh my god, a box of Lush goodies. Yuzu and cocoa shower cream and a Miranda soap. Oh, it smells so good already. I love the wrapping. I really want to keep it recycled. It's good for the environment. Everyone should recycle. Not wasting the world's resources. This is taken on a serious note. 100% recycled paper, there you go. I do like Lush, they're very environmentally and animal friendly. This is the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. So I have heard of Yuzu. I don't know what it is exactly, but I have heard of it. So, yes. That smells of my childhood. I think it's got some pineapple in there. It smells like chocolate and oranges. Okay, yeah. It's not pineapple, it's orangey. No, you can't eat it. Really? So this soap is the Miranda soap, it's reviving fruit salad of fresh kiwi and antiseptic juniper berry. Oh wow, that smells really delicious. Oh, that smells so fruity. Look at this, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can hear it, but the piano upstairs is going. Our neighbor has just started to learn the piano in the evenings and on Sunday mornings. So I do apologise if you start hearing the piano. That's the neighbour. The final present I'm going to show you is this one. And I'm showing you the bag because I really, really love it. It's got sort of fluorescent orange on it and metallic writing that says, Hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Okay, enough. And it's got this really gorgeous confetti inside it. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this the other day. This present is really brilliant. I'm passionate about music and about playing music. And these are mounted prints of musical scores of famous songs with an image that is related to that song or to the artist or to the album it came in. So this is another Brick in the Wall part two by Pink Floyd and you can see the logo from the Dark Side of the Moon album. The next one is the Breakfast at Tiffany's score and it's got an image of Audrey Hepburn on it. The next one is All You Need Is Love by The Beatles with red hot air balloons and Big Ben on it. And that's such a thoughtful present and I can't wait to frame them and put them up in our living room. Also got these beautiful flowers sitting on my bedside table there which was a very very kind gesture so tell me in the comments down below about your best birthday present and your worst birthday present also make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming soon if you haven't already then follow me on twitter and instagram details are in the description down below see you soon <laughs>